good early morning. We are so glad you're here. We daily vlog. So if you enjoyed today's Run Disney 10K video, make sure you come back every day because we have two more days of Marathon Weekend Dopey Challenge. Look at Spaceship Earth. It's 3.10 in the morning. We're waiting to park. It's going to be a fabulous, fabulous Run Disney morning. One peach just ran yesterday, one peach just running today. Um, I meant to do a montage when we were over there, but then you know what? It was raining, so we just stood there and complained that it was raining. It was really raining. It was. So we're just gonna go to our corrals. We're going through bib checks. They check your bibs like a thousand times. They don't trust us. No. So they want to check your bibs a hundred thousand times. Are you excited? I'm super excited. I all, want Oswald to be there. That's all we're hoping for today is Oswald to be en route. Yes. He's got to be somewhere around here. Either during the race or after. I know, I wonder if it'll be like the one like congratulating you on the finish line. Oh, you should just stop and hug him. <laughs> just ruin just your jump time. Up. <laughs> marker two on I think world drive last bit here before the fun begins because actually for the 10k we're running through Hollywood Studios through Crescent Lake home turf into Epcot to finish this 10k I'm tired a little bit but I also but per my typical self got flooded like a bad you know out of the gate way too fast so I'm gonna take this breather do a little Run, walk, 15 second walk here, and then get back at it, because once we get to Hollywood Studios, that's where the fun begins. Off these roads, come on. This is different. They didn't bring us by Fantasmic in the studios. They brought us a little further to come by Rock and Roller Coaster. How freaking cool is that? But the real question, is Christmas still up around the corner? Oh, we've got some bellhop out. Look at that. Love it. Ah. Oh. And Christmas is up. All right, we got photo pass now. I got, I got to come running. Check it out. We got Jake and the Land Pirates. Oh, best resort area in all of Disney World, Crescent Lake. We got Space Troopers glowing in the background, welcoming us to the end of our 10K. I'm at like four and a half right now. I see the five mile marker up there. It just passed the lighthouse, and we'll finish it off by running through World Showcase. I don't know if we're going through World Showcase, but finish up through Epcot. Look at this. Ah, oh, gorgeous. All right, let's finish strong. Look at that. Walt Disney World Marathon Weekend 2022 on the barges. Look at all those medals. Where is mine now? I like to go to this side. I feel like this side doesn't get as much love. Look at this spaceship bird on the Oswald and it slides. That is nice boy. I'm making a quick stop, very quick stop to the finish line just to say hi to my friends at ACS. Um, they're cheering all the runners on. Then I have got to dip out to get back to here and be quick because we actually have to go to Grand Floridian. We'll explain a little later. There's a bit of an eventful morning. Uh, even after the races. Good morning from the Grand Floridian. We're with all these little ones and this lady. Hi. We're gonna go to the lounge for some breakfast before Peter has to work. And we're gonna have a morning here. We are in the gift shop at the, at the lobby of the Grand Floridian. And when we passed 
the lobby the first time, James was in awe of the ceiling. So I'm gonna see if I can capture his reaction. Whoa. Do you love it? Oh my goodness. Are you a grand fan? If you didn't know how beautiful the ceiling is. Very nice, right? <laughs> um, this is how it looks and big chandeliers. Then you can look down and see the piano player. You guys are loving purple this morning. You like coloring, Jamesy? <laughs> the girls are being so nice and letting you color. <laughs> Gonna get goofy. Yeah. This is what James has done. I'm coloring goofy. I'm coloring goofy. Goofy is Jamesy's favorite. James, look. Jamesy, look. Look. Goofy. <laughs> <laughs> I can't know that. Katrina colored in pigment. I love that you did the stripes like a little darker and then a little lighter. Yeah, it's I so had good. to use the, the light purple. It's because uh, James was using the dark purple. Oh. Mm. <laughs> but it, that was okay. I just needed to color a little harder. We have got a napping baby. I'm just, you know, casually strolling the Grand Floridian with the lava smoothie. Also, I believe I'm getting my nails done tomorrow. I really want to get them done before the cruise. But I also don't want to take away any time from being here. Um, but yeah, that is on the agenda. And I'm just enjoying until we go to the park. I think I'll be headed to Epcot soon with the Earhearts. And then to Animal Kingdom tonight for our American Cancer Society event. It is absolutely gorgeous out today. It is in the 70s and I think it's only going to be warmer the rest of our trip. Even though in the morning it like starts out like high 50s, early, not early, low 60s. Um, when the sun is out, like it feels like Florida, like you could swim. So I'm just soaking it in. We've been relaxing and just like hanging out in their hotel room. Um, with the kids. Peter will be wrapping up work soon, but he will be assisting our friends at ACS with our car to get over all of the different supplies that they need for the event. This is a big deal tonight, and we're really excited to see everybody, but also just to like do something we've never done before because it is inside the park. You don't need a park ticket. Um, you just have to, if you're um, somebody who raises money for ACS, your loved ones can even come too. And so um, it's just like a really cool event and I'm excited it's at Harambe Village inside Animal Kingdom. That's a very magical view to walk out at the end of your work day. I'm not sure if Sarah explained while she was out having fun, uh, but I was finishing my work day and now I'm leaving to go pick up my friends Jenna and Kyra who work for ACS. Uh, we're having an ACS dinner tonight at Animal Kingdom. Kind of very cool, first time they've ever done anything like this in a park. So I'm going to pick them up um, since we have the van. I offered and they've got boxes and stuff to bring to help set up, so I'm going to pick them up from Pop Century, bring them the deck, help them bring it all in, get set up, and then enjoy the evening. It should be, a, I think it's like a two and a half or three hour event. There's, it's gonna be dinner, speakers, like two or three, and just like hanging out, like chit-chatting with other ACS Team Determination runners. So it should be exciting. Um, not officially done with work yet. Um, I was supposed to have like a work sanctioned event tomorrow that's being rescheduled. And I think because of that, I'm gonna use that time to um, finish one last thing that I need like two hours to do 
for work before I'm done um, until after we get back to Chicago after the cruise, after a little staycation after that. So still very exciting, um, but I'm like done with meetings and formal work stuff. I just need to do this last little project -y kind of piece thing. to Animal Kingdom. Um, I have been with the Earhart's at the Polynesian. We hung out at Trader Sam's on the terrace. We got Dole Whip. And it was just nice to just relax and soak in the poly. But now we are here. James is gonna have a bottle and I'm going to meet up with everybody. I heard the music from Encanto and had to turn around. What is this? I think it's just a backdrop, but this is Awesome. Look at these butterflies. Look at that. I bet Sarah showed it, but Animal Kingdom still has their tree up. Whoop whoop. See you Sunday morning, tree. So yeah, I dropped off Jenna and Cairo with all the stuff to meet some of the other volunteers at the front of the park to grab it so then I could go park the car. Now I'm gonna go into the park, meet them in Harambe Market. So this is very exciting for ACS and Jenna, who's the coordinator for all of the Run Disney events through ACS. So very, very exciting time and thing to be doing or being at and involved in. Ah, I love American Cancer Society. Hate cancer, I love them. Well, well. Isn't it my best friend and my napless baby? He took a nap earlier. Wanna go to Harambe Market? <laughs> bananas, we got Core Memory Wall, we got cheering goods, we got so many supporters of ACS here. <laughs> the event is over. Look at that tree. I don't know, do we, today was supposed to be the Animal Kingdom Day. Yeah. It's part of the trip, so like we don't, yeah. we're not doing Animal Kingdom. Alright, here we have my, my setup for tomorrow. Got some of my Under Armour shorts with some new shorts over, but I'm comfortable with that change for day of race because it's over my shorts. Busting out the classic ACS Determination singlet with the new bib, because this, this bib is used for 10k and half. This might be the last actual official race day that I use these Nikes on. Um, Steve gave me those a little while ago and they've just about had all the miles on them. 
And again, I'm gonna have my Martin's drink mix in the morning to pair that with some Martin's nutrition for it. Um, and then, of course, Garmin um, Aftershocks and my armband. So this is the setup for the morning. I'm already set up. James already set up. Sarah didn't get, finish getting set up, but we will do that knockout in the morning. Thank everybody who's ever supported our running, and especially anybody who's ever supported our American Cancer Society fundraising, whether it's through just sharing our story, sharing our links, or making a contribution through just sending us lovely messages or uh, the financial donations to our funds. Um, super important event tonight, super important cause. It was nice to have a big group of people who are all after the same thing. And it's running to be healthy and running for an important cause that is close to everybody that was there tonight. Over 200 runners plus their guests, so over 200 people um, there tonight. All for American Cancer Society, all for Dopey Weekend or Marathon Weekend. Um, time to go to bed because we're all getting up and going in the morning. Except for Eve. She's just going to hold the fort down. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>